Okay, so let's see if you know the steps to solve this simple algebra equation. All right, so what is the problem? Well, we have 2x plus 9 is equal to 14, and we're trying to solve this equation for x. Now, x is equal to one of these answers right here because we have a multiple choice question. So a is 5, b is 10, c is the square root of 7, and d is 5 halves. Now, feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy-to-understand way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have this pretty basic algebraic equation. Matter of fact, there is exactly two steps to solve this equation. And uh, also, uh, really, you don't even have to solve this equation to get this uh, correct. So some of you might be saying, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, I'll explain all of this in just one second. But uh, first, let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer here is D. So X is equal to 5 halves. All right, now, if you got this right and you did this step by step, well, you're going to get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I forgot all my algebra. Can you uh, teach me again? Well, I definitely can, and this is not that difficult. Okay, so the first way to answer this question without even doing algebra is to check the solutions. Now, we know the correct answer is D, 5 halves, but uh, let's suppose we didn't know that this was the correct solution. Well, what is a solution to an algebra equation? Well, it's a number or numbers such that when you replace the variable in an equation with that number or numbers, it's going to make the left-hand side equal to the right-hand side. All right, so here is our equation. It's 2x plus 9 is equal to 14. And in algebra, 2x means 2 times some number x. All right, so let's uh, check two solutions. We'll check 10, which, of course, is going to be wrong. And then, of course, we'll check the correct answer, which is 5 halves. All right, so here is how you check a solution to an algebra equation. So again, if x is equal, if x is equal to 10, that means that when we uh, replace this x, with a 10, the left-hand side will be equal to the right-hand side. All right, so this means we have 2 times 10. Of course, that's 20. 20 plus 9 is 29. 29 is not equal to 14. Therefore, x cannot be equal to 10. All right, so that is not the solution because it doesn't balance the equation. All right, so let's take a look at the correct answer here, which, of course, is 5 halves. And let's see why this is right. All right, so we're going to replace this x with 5 halves, and we have 2 times 5 halves. The 2's cross cancel, so we're left with 5. 5 plus 9 indeed is 14, and 14 is equal to 14, so the equation is balanced. All right, so this is the solution, and uh, anytime you have a multiple choice question and you have an equation, well, no one should get these uh, problems wrong because you can always check the solutions even if you don't know the algebra. All right, but uh, let's suppose we don't have a multiple choice question here. What do we need to do? Well, we're simply going to need to know the steps to solve this equation. And in this particular equation, there's actually two steps to solve the equation. So this is called a two-step linear equation. So 2x plus 9 is equal to 14. To solve for x, we're going to have to take two distinct steps. But here I have simple one-step equations. So if you can't solve a one-step equation, well, you're going to have a tough time solving a two-step equation. All right, so let's see if you can solve these two equations here. x plus 9 is equal to 14, and 2x uh, is equal to 14. All right, so x plus 9 is equal to 14. What do we need to do to solve for x? Well, here we want to get x equal to itself, right? So the golden rule of algebra is whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing uh, on the other side. So I want x by itself, but here I have x plus 9. Well, I want to kind of get rid of this plus 9. So what I can do is actually subtract 9 right here. 
So when I subtract a 9 from a positive 9, I'll have uh, an x, right? And that's, of course, what I want. But if I subtract a 9 on the left-hand side, I have to subtract a 9 on the right-hand side. So 14 minus 9, of course, is 5. All right, so x is equal to 5. And of course, we can check that into the uh, original equation. So if x is 5, 5 plus 9 is 14. Of course, that is true. All right, so let's take a look at this uh, one-step equation. 2x is equal to 14. So this is 2 times some number, x is equal to 14. Now, of course, we know the answer is 7, right? Because 2 times 7 is 14. And uh, the kind of the uh, object here, or the goal, is the same, right? We're trying to get x by itself. That is the solution. So here I have 2 times x. So what I can do is take this 2x and divide it by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1x. But of course, if I divide 2 on the left-hand side, I have to divide 2 on the right-hand side as well. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. All right, so these are examples of one-step equations. And now we can solve this two-step equations with these uh, one-step equation, uh, one -step equations in mind. OK, so here is how it works. So 2x plus 9 is equal to 14. When you're solving two-step equations in algebra, the first thing that you need to do is kind of isolate this part of the equation. So we want to kind of get this on one side of the equation, 2x. And in order to do that, well, I can uh, simply subtract 9 from both sides of the equation. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So this is step one. OK, so remember, there's, this is a two-step equation. And the first step is to kind of isolate this part of the equation right here, uh, the part uh, that has the variable in it. OK, so 2x is the term. We want to get that on one side of the equation. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to subtract 9 from both sides of the equation, then it kind of add down in a column manner. So 2x plus nothing is 2x. 9 minus 9 is 0. We don't need to write that. And 14 minus 9 is 5. All right, so this is step 1. Now we're ready to take the next step to solve this equation, which, of course, is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Now, my goal on YouTube is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable and interesting manner. But I'm also trying to reach as many people as possible on YouTube. And I can't do that unless I get the support of people like yourself. And the best way to support this channel is to literally hit that subscribe button. And if you're going to do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. Also, if you need additional help with some of the stuff that uh, I'm covering here, like basic one-step and two-step algebra equations, well, a few suggestions. One, I have a ton of additional content on my YouTube channel. Also, you may want to check out my pre-algebra, Algebra 1 course, or maybe my Math Skills Rebuilder course. You can find links to those in the description of this video. All right, so let's go ahead and finish up this problem, as there's really not much left to do. OK, so we have a two-step equation here. And uh, let's just review the first step. So the first step is to isolate this part of the equation, the 2x. And we did that by subtracting 9 from both sides of the equation. So when we add down in a column manner, we're going to have 2x plus nothing is 2x. 9 uh, minus 9 is 0. So we don't need to write that. And then 14 minus 9 is 5. All right, so 2x is equal to 5. This is a simple one-step equation. So this is the last step to solve for x. So all we have to do is simply divide both sides of the equation by 2, and then we will have the solution to this equation, which, of course, is x is equal to 5 halves. All right, so we are talking about basic algebra here. And don't feel bad if you don't you know, remember a lot of this stuff. You know, again, a lot of you have been away from math for a long time, right? So the only way to improve is to understand the concepts and then, of course, practice, practice, practice. And hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.